cancer is a central health problem for our society. GSI Health Ball Centrum for Schwerion and Forschung is uh, uh, one of the largest uh, nuclear physics accelerators in Europe. Now has been conceived as a clinical facility for supplying hydrotherapy to patients recruited from all over the country. The Heidelberg Iron Beam Therapy Facility is a synchrotron-based facility for cancer therapy. So we treat tumors that are very insensitive to radiation. The Marburg Iron Therapy Center, MET, is one of only two facilities in Germany where protons and all the carbon ions are provided for the treatment of patients. Medausen is a clinical facility providing patient treatment and also research opportunities located about 50 kilometers south of Vienna. And we can offer both carbon ions and proton beam radiotherapy. The goal of Hitchery Plus is to integrate and propel biophysics and medical research. GSI is a research center, so we are completely committed to research and is both basic research, like in nuclear physics, and applied research. Within the applied research, of course, the biomedical applications in cancer therapy play a very important role. Our mission is mainly addressed to clinical irradiation, but in addition, we also provide great opportunities to perform research in various sectors for scientific and industrial activities ranging from radiation biophysics, radiobiology, space research and detector development. Um, the mission of Medausen is twofold. On the one hand, uh, we want to deliver state-of-the-art um, particle therapy to patients, so it's a clinical mission. And on the other hand, we want to perform research strictly related to this, so improve that the radiobiological and technical properties to, to have a better tool uh, for the future patients. We are a standalone facility, but integrated in a network of hospitals and universities that support us. Our mission is twofold. On the one hand side, we want to treat a very large amount of patients predominantly in clinical trials, and we have treated 7,000 patients since 2009 when we started the clinical operation. But as we are in a research environment, everything is constantly accompanied by studies, research, basic research, modeling, performed graphical processing units, very fast Monte Carlo calculations, in order to, to study the underlying effects from the molecular biology range down to nuclear reaction cross-sections when the particle traverse the patient, up to very complex uh, molecular biology-based analysis of gene up and down regulation, depending on the particle type you use to produce the dose, always aiming at improving the therapy protocols, finally being uh, used in clinical trials. Our goal is not only to make this uh, therapy for all our patients available, but we want to develop it further. To this end, all patients are included in prospective registry studies. Uh, in addition, a variety of uh, clinical studies are being conducted here at the MIT, uh, and uh, the patient inclusion can be offered to all our patients. Hitri Plus brings together all four European ion therapy centers. The objectives of our research is to improve particle therapy. In particular, we are focusing now on the combination of heavy ion therapy and drugs, especially immunotherapy. Why is that? We have a strong punch coming from the heavy ions on the tumor, and we combine it with the immunotherapy, which is very effective for metastasis. So our idea is that the combination of the high dose to the main tumor plus immunotherapy can cure patients in stage four, the so-called metastatic patients. Behind that wall, there is the Knau experimental room. The beam distribution in the Knau experimental room is performed with the same scanning active system that is used in the three treatment rooms. In order to make the best use of the available space in the experimental room, the beam line inside has been conceived as assembled in several configurations. Our clinical activities has mainly two objectives. The first one is to uh, prove in a way that is convincing for all of the world that the data reported so far are true. So produce hard evidence that will result in the construction of many more carbon ion facilities in the future.
More than 3,400 patients have been treated at CNAO in the past 10 years. The pathologies that we can treat at CNAO are tumors of the brain, skull base and spinal cord. The second one is um, exploring new way to use carbon ion. So, so uh, um, the untapped potential of this wonderful modality. And we believe that uh, the three main directions in which we want to develop are um, um, hypoxia, uh, LET optimization, and integration with immunomodulating drugs. The most innovative uh, physics research project is already mentioned 3D range modulator. The advantage of, the modu of these modulators is if we put it, these modulators into the beam during the treatment of the patient, we are able to reduce the treatment times from several minutes down to several seconds. And that's a big advantage for the, for the patient. And what you see behind me is the worldwide first realization of a rotational beam line for ion beams, because that allows entering the patient out of any angle, which is what photon therapy, the standard therapy modality has to do Anyhow, we do it only for those patients that have very difficult conditions for their tumor and the sparing of organs at risk. Tumor, uh, tissue close to the tumor has to be spared at a maximum extent. That's why we built this very large gantry. Uh, 2015, since the reopening of the Marburg uh, Particle Beam Center, we treated around 1,500 patients. In particular, uh, tumors that are um, reported to be radio-resistant or uh, which are located in the vicinity of critical organs uh, at risk are most suitable for particle beam therapy, uh, here in our case, a proton or carbon ion uh, therapy. We all share the ambition to jointly build a strong heavy ion therapy research community. Another very important topic are the moving targets. For example, we are very precise with our pencil beam scanning, but if the tumor is moving, how do we track the movement? How do we follow the tumor? So treating lung tumors, for example, with the pencil beam scanning is difficult because the, this tumor can be moving up to 10 centimeters in, in width. Over the course of 10 years, more than 2,500 hours of beam time have been devoted to research activities for external research groups coming to our facility from all over the world. Hitri Plus Transnational Access will open to external researchers. Radiobiological research started in 2019 and since then several research groups applied to the beam time and carried out experiments at MIT. Thanks to its synchrotron, now is providing a transnational access for both clinical and research activities. This means that all the facilities in Hitri offer beam time to external users, users coming from different countries. So we are in Germany, we can offer hours to users coming from France, from Italy, from any other country in Europe. This is the basis of science, you know, we want to be open. We want people to come here and use our infrastructure and we want to exchange our experience and our results. Hashtag joint research activities. Request your beam time for clinical or research projects at our website, hitreplus.eu. Section Transnational Access.